welcome to our new video series. This one is on the female reproductive system. Just like all of our other videos, we release some for free here on YouTube, and the rest can be seen exclusively at MrFordsClass.net. Membership is what allows us to continue to make these videos, as well as update old ones and make future videos. So again, your membership is very important in the continuation of these series. So thank you if you're already a member. If you're not, please feel free to check us out. So let's talk about the female reproductive system. We begin, of course, with our introduction. If you've watched the male reproductive system, some of this should sound familiar because we're going to talk about gametes and that kind of good stuff. So let's dive into the female repro system. The function of the reproductive system, whether it be male or female, is the continuation of the species, meaning it's there to make offspring little ones, children, babies, new people, okay? It's composed of primary sex organs as well as secondary sex organs. Each parent produces something known as sex cells or gametes. In males, the gamete is known as sperm. In females, it's known as eggs. The gametes, when they come together, will create something called a zygote. This is a new organism unseen before on the planet Earth. The functions of the reproductive system in the males is the production of sperm as well as introducing sperm into the female's body where the two gametes can meet. In the female, the function of the reproductive system is the production of eggs. It's going to receive the sperm. It's going to provide the area where the gametes can come together. It's going to harbor the fetus if in fact the fetus is created as well as give birth. Earlier we said primary and secondary sex organs, so let's take a look at what we mean by that. The primary sex organs in the males and females are the gonads. These are the sex cells. So the gonads, the sex cells, are the primary. These are the things that are producing the gametes, the eggs. Everything else is secondary. So the secondary, as we said a couple seconds ago, is the structures that help the sex cells come together. So in males it would be ducts, glands, penis. In the females, it would be the uterine, the uterus, and the vagina. Here are terms that we're going to cover and that you must know when talking about the female reproductive system. We have the ovaries. We have our internal sex organs, which are the uterine tubes, the uterus, and the vagina. The external sex organs include the clitoris or the clitoris, the labia minora, as well as the labia majora, and we'll go over all of these in more detail. In our next video, we're going to take a look at the ovaries.